Hello everyone. In the previous videos, I have explained what is this keyword, how this keyword can be used to refer current class instance variables, how this keyword can be used to invoke current class method, and how this keyword can be used to pass as an argument in the method call. If you haven't watched previous videos, then you can watch it out on a link that I have mentioned in the description of this video. Okay, you can go through it. And in this video, I am going to explain how this keyword can be used to return current class instance from the method. Okay, so first let's understand what does it mean exactly. That is what we have to do. And then we will see how we can do it. That means how this keyword can be used to return current class instance from the method. Okay, so let's begin. In Java, function or method is used to perform certain task and after a completion task, a method can return specific value so that we can use that value in a program. And method can return values in a different form or in a different types. Such as if method has integer return type, then method returns integer type value. If method has float return type, then method returns float type value. Similarly, if method has object or a class type as a return type, then method returns object type value. For example, see here, I have created m1 method with integer return type and therefore this m1 method will return integer type value. And here I have created m2 method with float return type and therefore this m2 method will return float type value. Similarly here I have created m3 method with class type as a return type and therefore this method will return object of class whose name we have written as a return type. So here I have written test class name as a return type and therefore this method will return test class object. So always keep in mind if return type of method is an object or a class type then that method will return object of that class. Okay. Now see here the return type of this m3 method is class type and it's a test class type. That's why this m3 method will return test class object right and test class is our current class. So basically this m3 method will return current class object that is current class instance because instance means object right so this m3 method will return current class instance so instead of returning current class instance from method how we can return this keyword and that we are going to discuss in this video now it's clear that what we have to do we have to return this keyword from method instead of current class instance or current class object okay now let's understand how we can do it that is how this keyword can be used to return the current class instance from the method so let's understand it directly through an example now see here i have already created here m1 method with integer return type and therefore this method will return integer value Similarly here I have created m2 method with float return type and therefore this method will return float value. Similarly we can create method with class type as a return type. So let's create it. Test m3. Okay. So here I have created m3 method and the return type of this method is class type and it's a test class type and therefore this method will return test class object. So let's create an object of test class new test okay and return it now let's call all the methods inside main method by creating an object of test class and we can call it directly inside println method so that output will print on a screen and we can see it okay and here we can write t1.m1 Similarly, we can call m2 and m3 method. Okay. And if I run this code, now you can see here m1 method will return integer type value, m2 method will return float type value, and m3 method will return test class object. Okay. So output is well and good, no issue in it. But imagine you are creating big application and there is need to call this m3 method multiple times, just as one time two time three time and so on and comment out this line and this line as well because we are only going to focus on m3 method okay so at the time of execution this m3 method get call and will invoke this m3 method and then control come over here inside m3 method and this 
test class object will create and JVM allocate memory to it. And then control come over here and will return test class object. After that control come back over here inside main method and then this EM3 method get call. And then again this EM3 method will invoke and new test class object will create and JVM allocate memory to it. And again this EM3 method get call and new test class object will create and JVM allocate memory to it. Then again this EM3 method get call and new test class object will create and JVM allocate memory to it. So basically whenever this EM3 method get call then each time new test class object will create and due to this memory issue can create as well as it may increase execution time of a program and performance of a program will decrease right so let's check it out does it really creating new test class object each time or not okay now let's run the code you can see here every time new test class object that is current class object is created and to overcome this problem java provide us this keyword because this also a reference variable that refer to current object and this method also returning reference of current class object right so wherever there is a scene of current class object then there always be a this keyword that refer to the current object and hence java says that why are you creating here current class object to return it because same thing this keyword can do for you without creating new object so instead of doing all this stuff you can simply return this keyword from method and comment out this line because we do not need to create current class object at all because we are returning this keyword and this also a reference variable that refer to the current class object okay so simply keep in mind here return this means return reference of current class object okay all right so please note this point if method has class type specially current class type as a return type then you can simply return this keyword from the method now let's run the code let's see what will be the output after using this keyword and you can see here after using this keyword we are getting same current object every time as an output even here we have called m3 method multiple time clear but remember one thing you can use this keyword to return from method only when if method is going to return current object not another class object that means if i create here another class and it's suppose class a okay and create one method inside test class which has a class name as a return type okay so and it's suppose m4 method and simply return here this then it will generate error because a class is another class right not a current class and our current class is test class and this keyword only refer to the current class object and hence we cannot use here this keyword so let's check it out let's run the code but before that let's call this em4 method here using test class object p1 dot m4 all right now let's run the code let's see you can see here compiler raise an error type mismatch cannot convert from test to a so always keep in mind this keyword refer current object only so in this way we can use this keyword to return the current class instance from the method clear that's it i hope you understand how we can use this keyword to return the current class instance from the method for now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching